So for the last week, I've been up here staying in Angler's Rest at the Blue Duck Inn and we've been driving around a lot and the fishing's been amazing. But the one thing we haven't done, uh, which is kind of silly, is actually fish the Kabunga River, which flows like right here um, through our accommodation. So we've got some nice weather this morning. We thought we'd go do it. Um, we'll probably fish a little bit of this water just here on the nice manicured lawn. And then we can head up upstream there into the hills, into the beautiful countryside and uh, yeah, catch a few fish. So we had quite a bit of rain overnight. Um, it's been raining all week, so the river's been up and down and up and down, but it is a little bit up. Um, it's clearish, but because we've had the rain, it should make some really, should make the fishing really good for like a nymph. So I'm gonna go really simple. I've just got my urinymphing set up. I've got a single nymph tied on and uh, yeah, that should be fine. This slack middle seam is the perfect spot. Just through here. Just in between the two currents, it's the best place for a nice fish to sit. Oh, that is a really good fish. <laughs> that is an amazing fish. Wherever you go in the world, you can catch fish on a pheasant tail nymph, it seems. The slightly off-colour water, wherever you go, always seems to bring out some really nice fish. Oh, that is a lovely trout. And on. The pheasant tail nymph with the pink bead right on top there. That is beautiful. Spear you back, mate. Whew. That's a good way to start. Throw a couple up this shallow edge. There's another one. Oh. That slack, you know, eye or pocket created by the shelf there is absolutely the go. Come here, mate. Another nice little brown. Such a nice, simple way to fish here. Just single fly, single nymph, one fly, one current, line off the water. There's another one. That's a rainbow this time. energetic little guy. I feel like my line just got sucked a little bit and I was slightly late on that fish because when I like lifted into it I had a little bit of slack but I think it ate it really well so it was okay. There we go, beautiful little Kabunga rainbow. Lovely little markings. It's still got the par markings on it. Oh, it's away. Still got the par markings on it there.
That seam feels like the best spot, yeah. What have we got there? Another brown. Nice, lean guy. My aim here is just to get, oh, missed that fish. My aim through this water here, and why I'm liking the single nymph is the seam, the join of the slack and the fast is quite narrow. So I really want to get my fly drifting down the current. And I don't want my line to be crossing too many of the currents either. There's one there. Ooh, nice feisty little brown. Come here, matey. Good to see so many fish in this river after the bushfires and, you know, drought years ago. All right, now we'll head up, find some fish in the beautiful bouldery pocket water upstream. Little rosellas eating the apples. Over here is more of that, you know, beautiful soft water. Whereas the river comes up, the fish will hopefully slide across to that seam for us. Just roll out like right at the tail, this little bit here first. So you sometimes pick one up right in front of the lip. And then we can move up into this stuff here. There's one. Ooh, nice little rainbow. Oop, chill out. Okay, thank you, mate. Just tangled my nymph up. That soft spot, there will be more of them there. They should all have pulled into that kind of water. I actually think I may be a little bit, my fly light bit might be a little bit too light here in this water. So I'm just gonna change to a heavier fly like a heron partridge with a 3.5 mil bead. Right, and that'll be me. Hopefully it makes a difference. It just felt like my fly wasn't really getting down, like, well, it wasn't getting down quickly enough for my liking. There's one there. Well, that fly change worked. If there is a really good spot like this and you fish it and you go, gosh, it should have produced more. There's no harm in just, you know, taking that extra moment to, uh, to change flies. Cause oh, 
I lied, put too much pressure on that fish. That was my bad. I rushed that one. Um, as it, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll often do that. It'll often change a few more casts and bang, and you go, wow, made all the difference. That was a nice take. Beautiful take off the soft edge there. Nice little fish. Pop this fly out. Thank you, mate. Don't like fishing straight upstream, but I'm kind of pinched here, my body position. So I'm gonna do it initially just to clear this water so I can move into it. Got him. Oh, again, the slack water. They don't want to be out in that. A nice, beautifully colored brown. Just want to manage him upstream, keep him up there, have him fighting myself and the current. And then when he pops to the surface, I'll come in with the net shot here. Oh, got you, matey. That's a nice, healthy looking fish. Lovely little trout. Pop that guy out, there we go. All right. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a very nice fish. Might be one of these little turbocharged rainbows. Right in that slack eye created by the rock up there. I think it is. Yeah. You are such a strong fish for your size, mate. Wow. How does that fish hit that hard and fight that hard? There's another one. 
bits of brown off the edge on the far side there. Oh, thank you, mate. Jeez, the colors on that one are amazing. Really golden, buttery fish. Sneak that little barbless fly out. Another one, right in the same slack eye as the one earlier. It's a nice healthy fish. So good to see this river fishing so well. And when this water drops and it gets a little bit lower, uh, these fish will just be launching at dry flies. I mean, they probably will this afternoon once we get a little bit of sun and all this fog and cloud burns off. Look at that lovely fish. All right, well, all wrapped up. That was really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed fishing that. It was interesting, the fish were very much uh, in that off pace water. So if you found some fast flowing water, that was great. They were gonna kind of be on the edge of it. So uh, yeah, that was awesome. As always, don't forget, there's links to the gear in the description. Uh, there are links to the flies in the description. If you're interested in guiding, coaching, attending clinics, you can see that stuff on my website there. Um, and if you are gonna, you know, come up here and fish, why not stay at the Blue Duck too? So, uh, yeah. Thanks guys, I'll see you next one.